Tonight you're tuning in to Lukmano's script, an improvised alternative story based on the pulps of yesteryear. Tonight's story is The Claw of the Conciliator, where Severian is in the possession of said very gem, The Claw of the Conciliator. Armed with this and his sword, Terminus Est, Severian continues his journey to Thrax, the city of his exile. That story is happening, but so is this one. Of the conciliator. Oh, wow. It's very impressive. Can I use it to torture people? Only if you pass my riddles. I absolutely don't want to do that. What? Why? Hey, I'm going to... One sec, guy. You're lovely. I'm but... going to talk to my sword for a little bit. Hey, Terminus. Yes? Uh... Do we just stab this guy and take the claw of the conciliator from him? Oh, please. Yes, let's stab him. I want to be drenched in his blood. Do you thirst for the blood of the conciliator? I thirst for the blood. Drench me in this conciliator's blood. You are the conciliator, right? This was your claw? I'm his receptionist. Oh, he he gave you the claw? Yeah, and he gave me the riddles, and I'm supposed to give it to the people who come questing for the claw of the conciliator. Terminus, this is going to be deeply unsatisfying to you. This is only the receptionist. I, I know you can hear. Yes, but remember, I love killing people. I know you do. It's literally the reason you exist. I'm very excited to do this. But do you think we maybe have to go find the actual conciliator afterwards? Oh, and... absolutely. But please, 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 can we kill him? It's... Yeah, okay, we'll take him. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> and grab the gem from your body. I and I now possess the claw of the conciliator. It makes me say it in such an interesting way. The claw of the conciliator. Now I say it that way, too. That's amazing. I'm think? so proud of you. All right, Terminus, I'm going to put it in your little gem slot, just for safekeeping. <laughs> there we go. Does it power you up in any way? Do you feel different? I feel... Better? Stronger? Amazing. Good, good. Okay, well, we're going to use your new power. You don't have new power. I'm just hyping you up, Terminus. I, I, you're my best, my favorite sword. I, I feel I feel powerful. You should. You should. You are so powerful, Terminus. I oh, you're so good. Let's go find that conciliator. He's probably up this winding, terrifying staircase, and we just go kill him. Let's do yeah. it, man. I really, ch I didn't want to torture people last time, and now, I still don't. I just straight up murder them. That guy felt no pain. Yeah, I kind of. I kind of expected you to, like, maybe slice his Achilles tendons and then, like, work upwards from there. But, you know, I, I, one way or another, the bucket gets the blood. All right, Terminus, this is something we now have to talk about. Because you were with me as I was passing my many grueling trials of becoming a guy that tortures people, right? Yes. Okay. So you've tasted the blood of many, and the blood was not just death blood. This was like suffering blood and sort of like pain blood instead of just death blood, right? Yes. So you do you have a taste? Do you does it taste different? Do you think? Do you have a taste for the pain suffering blood, or do, are you okay with the death quick painless death blood? I well okay. So it's kind of like sometimes you drink brandy and then sometimes you drink rum but all in all it's all the same thing i'm just saying i'm not too choosy i just want to be drenched in the blood of your enemies okay okay that's good 
and you'll get that because so what I did with that guy, which again you deftly followed my hand thing, you just cut really fast in a circle on someone's heart, and it cuts all the ventricles, and then it goes boop, and then they just die instantaneously. So I'm sure you liked that, and you were very drenched in blood. I gotta wipe you off a little bit, but yes, again, and, painless and, for him. Okay, let me give you like maybe something you could try for the next time. And yeah, yeah, pointers from so a sword. After you cut the circle, maybe take like a wine bottle opener and then like twist it in there and then pull it out as if they were a wine bottle. See, that's actually very disturbing what you've just described I do to someone's heart. You're saying I treat the heart as if it were a cork of a bottle? No, no I'm saying the circle part that acts almost as if a cork in a bottle. Would oh, be, like the skin part. I got you. Yes, the cork of their body, the body cork. I see, I see, yes, okay. Oh, I really don't like the imagery of this. <laughs> and if very you don't visceral. like the imagery, you won't like the noise. No, it would be very, like, fully. Oh, it's more of a. <laughs> oh, it's a clean. It's a clean break when you do it that way. Okay, that actually. I mean, that was pretty satisfying. To be fair, I might actually be okay with that. And they're already dead. It's no longer torture, so it kind of does fit my mo. Yes. It, hey, we could try it on that guy there. This guy? Yeah. What did this guy do to deserve my wrath? Uh, hi, I'm Jonas. Hey, Jonas, my name's Severian. This is my sword, Terminus. He speaks. Wow. It, uh, and is a sword. A, a talking sword, you say? Go on, Terminus. Terminus. Don't. Is, he's shy sometimes. He's shy. Don't oh, worry, Terminus. Oh, oh no, me... I, I can definitely hear him talking. Yeah. Terminus, he's... you're making me look right foolish right now. No, don't worry, Severian. I I could hear him. Um. So. All right, Jonas. Well, he shut up for now. But uh, we got the claw of the con claw. Sorry, excuse me. Claw of the conciliator. Oh my goodness! And I put goodness. it. I gem socketed it into uh, Terminus here, and I was gonna go take care of the t conciliator. Just there's a b extra bonus. <gasps> Jonas, bonus. Bonus, Jonas. You you want to come sort of join me as my sort of lackey? Sounds good to me. All right. All right. What's your deal, Jonas? Are you, are you a cool guy? What's going on with you? Well, I got to say, I uh, used to live in this little town called Xanthar. And I... Yeah. Some bandits came through... And there was nobody there to torture the bandits. And so the bandits kind of just came through and they kidnapped a whole bunch of people. I was one of them. And then I ended up here. You seem okay, though. Sure. What, what do you mean by that? I mean, you made it out okay. You're not dead bandit meat or anything, you know, right? Yeah, I. you're right. Things could be worse. Things could be so much worse. I have been to Xanthar. It's cool. I uh, We have a connection there. You've been to Xanthar? Yeah, one time. I met the mayor. It was really cool. And then I left, and now I'm here. How long ago was that? Ooh, couldn't say. Maybe a month or two, you know? Because that's when the bandits came through. We had this this guy who was supposed to be doing torturing, but he was like, I don't like torturing. And Yeah. And it's so, unacceptable. No, yeah, it was the worst. He was supposed to be torturing. The bandits would not have been able to kidnap us because they would have been tortured if he had just done his job. Were they like kinky bandits and they were like, please don't torture us, you know? Yeah. All they had was paddles and then they put this gag in my mouth. It oh, tasted no. weird. Jonas. Yeah. Oh, Jonas. Yeah. I'm so sorry, man. Well... Sucks for you and the town, I guess. But <laughs> if they were that kind of bandit, I I sort of see why you're just sort of doing okay right now, to be fair. 
Hey, all I'm saying is I'm just glad you're not the Punisher for that town. Because if I ever see that guy, I, I might do some punishing myself. Yeah. No, I was exiled and I was sent to Xanthar for no reason. And I left there also for no reason. Oh, great. And so now you're here just to kill? You're a, a killer? Yeah, I just kill. I was... Uh, no, scratch that. I was not a torturer. I was just always the killer. Always the killer. Terminus thirsts for blood. And he told me so. Again, if he would talk to you, I'd love that. But he's... I'm going to put him in the scabbard because he's, he's being mean and not talking. And making me look like a right fool. <laughs> See, and you could just think that I'm throwing my voice. And I wouldn't do that to you, Jonas. I... <laughs> <laughs> and see, I kind of, I kind of move my mouth there. So, like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do anything here, Jonas. I don't worry, I just Severian. Go, I, I believe you. Yeah, I know you do. Not, I know you don't. I 100 percent think that you think that my sword does not talk to me and is not sentient, but it is. So, that's for me to know and for you to find out. And uh, let's go kill this conciliator. He's just some old guy. Just walking up the steps. Okay. Here he is. Ho, ho. Welcome to the realm of the conciliator. You're so jacked. You're so much more jacked than I expected you to be. Yes. When you've lived for a hundred years, you can work out a lot. True. Wow. Yeah. That's a good... I should put that on a poster. That's a, it's words to live by. Yes. <laughs> live long and work out. It is I, the motivation wizard. And conciliator? So multifaceted. I know. I took up two jobs because you see, when you have time, you can make time for the important things. Ha ha ha. Oh, I, I, you've got great vibes, mister. This is... I feel really bad about what I'm about to do to you and your heart. Are you, you ready, Terminus? You have to say. Couldn't yes. give consent. Kid. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and then I did the heart thing. Oh, my heart. Okay, Terminus, this one's for you. And I find a corkscrew because <laughs> he was drinking wine. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, this is so gross. Okay, I'm tightening it. Oh, oh this is oh. so nasty. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I have something motivational for this. Um, yeah. My heart will go on. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we did it. We killed him. I even did your sick human plug thing, Terminus. I know, Do you believe dudes. me now, Jonas? <laughs> Man. He's sick. He is, that Severian, I thought he was a good guy. He didn't want to torture, but he's way worse now that he doesn't torture. Yeah, it must be a side effect of the claw of the conciliator. The claw of the conciliator. How can you not say that word as if it is the most fantasy fucking item of all time? <laughs> It absolutely is. And I, I swear, the guy, when he was writing it, like, every time he'd write it down on paper, he'd be like, and then Jonas picked up the claw of the conciliator! <laughs> yeah, how do you, like, you're typing it, and then you're, like, typing it slower, like, claw Oh, the conciliator! And then all of your housemates are just like, what the fuck are you doing oh, yeah. this guy? I just imagine him, like, upstairs, and, like, he's typing away, He's screaming that occasionally, and his wife is just like, oh, "That sequel's coming out sometime. I I can't come out soon enough. He'll be done writing. <laughs> We're bankrupt Backward. after the first one." <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much to all who have listened to this episode of Look Mono Script. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to follow us on social media, we've got an Instagram. It's impossible to find, as we've found out, because uh, it's look my no script or hands or one of those, but the O's are zeros. So just 
pointing out Aaron's folly. <laughs> Uh, the greatest folly of man is our hubris in thinking that we were searchable via easy means. But you can find us on uh, pretty much anything else by just searching Look Mono Script. Again, just O's, not zeros. Very easy, simple phrase. Look Mono Script. Easy. Yeah. Easy. yeah. Uh, <laughs> really fucking. <laughs> grinding you okay uh if you add the time to leave a review on your favorite podcatcher of choice we recommend you do so easy peasy give us a five star give us a uh, yeah five star yeah maybe five star maybe not lower than a five star just truthfully a five star you really love our podcast thank you so much see you next week bye bye